Hello brothers and sisters, today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. And uh, in today's Bible study lesson, we are going to uh, be focusing on uh, one organization which is called the Church of the Almighty God. Have you ever heard about the Church of the Almighty God? Hmm. Okay, what 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 is it? What is that church of the Almighty God? Now we're going to dissect this and be able to come to the knowledge of the truth and understand. So I hope you're seated on a comfortable seat and you've got a pen and a notebook and uh, your Bible of course at the side. And then let's get started. Now the Church of the Almighty God, the Church of Almighty God, which is also called uh, Kwangkenshan in Chinese, is a secretive, theologically aberrant religious movement that started in China in 1991. And although it has been banned by the Chinese Communist Party for its anti-government stance, it continues to grow and uh, is considered a very influential doomsday cult. I'm sure you've seen uh, some of their videos on online on YouTube by the Church of the Almighty God. Okay, let's 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 dig deeper and see. Now, the Church of Almighty God is also known as the Eastern Lightning. Okay, Eastern Lightning. This is a name based on uh, Matthew 24, verse 7, uh, 27, which says, For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. And they use that verse. So the group uh, believes that God has again become incarnate, this time as a, a Chinese woman named Yang Xiangbing who also calls herself Lightning Den. Deng. Okay. So Yang is the nominal head of Eastern Lightning, but the true leader is probably her high priest and lover called Zhao Weishan. 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 <laughs> His names are really hard for me. Uh, of course, the man who first began proclaiming that Yang was divine. Okay. And in 2000, the year 2000, Zhao Weishan and Yang Xiangbing moved to the United States and uh, they currently oversee operations of the Church of Almighty God from New York City. Zhang, uh, Yang Xiangbing is called uh, Christ of the Last Days. And Almighty God in the belief that she is the second coming of Christ to finish the work of God. Young uh, always gives utterances that are recorded as God's word for the last days. Of course, although Young is uh, seen as the incarnation of God, she is considered separate from Jesus Christ, who was a different incarnation of God. And according to them, the Bible is seen as an obsolete record of uh, God's work in the past. Okay, They try to say that uh, it is nothing more than just a historical record of God's work and a testament to the previous two stages of God's work and offers you no understanding of the aims of God's work. Okay, that's You can just go and find it from uh, the official... Eastern Lightning's uh, website. They have written exactly that. Therefore, the Bible, according to them, is insufficient and must be supplemented by the utterances of Almighty God or uh, Christ of the last days. This group teaches that uh, in the Old Testament, God was known by the name Jehovah. In the New Testament era, God was known as Jesus Christ. And now in the last days, he's, uh, he's properly known as Almighty God. His work through the female Christ is quite different from the work of the apostles. 
And although God used the apostles, they could only do what men who are used by God can do. The Church of Almighty God is the work of uh, God Himself, that's what they say. And according to the official website, the group was uh, entirely founded by Almighty God personally and is personally led by and shepherded by Him. And it was no means set up by any man. Currently in the kingdom age, they say that God is carrying out uh, his, wi- his uh, white throne judgment. And all Christian denominations and sects have lost the Holy Spirit and his power is now concentrated in the church of the Almighty God. And something to ponder here. This same church of Almighty God denies the Trinity. A teaching form of modalism you see we have to believe in the father son and the holy spirit but to them they are seen as three different manifestations of the one god not three distinct persons they say that uh, the trinity does not exist anywhere in the universe and god has no father and no son much less Is there the concept of an instrument jointly used by the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit? Of all this is the greatest fallacy and simply does not exist in this world. That's what they say. Okay. Now, according to the teaching of the Church of Almighty God, Jesus forgave mankind's sin in the age of grace, but his salvation was not complete because the sin nature remained in mankind. Now, in the age of the kingdom, through the teachings uh, of the Christ of the last days, mankind can finally be delivered from sin and made fully clean. This is what they say is the true salvation of uh, available to those who will obey Almighty God's teaching as uh, revealed in the last days. From the group's official website, it is hard to pin down exactly what allows one to attain this final level of true salvation. It appears that the, the most important thing is simply believing the teachings of the Church of Almighty God. And the same Church of the Almighty God has a, a presence in uh, a huge presence actually in Hong Kong, New York and San Francisco as well as mainland China. They are, there are so many disturbing reports of the group using uh, sexual seduction, kidnappings, bribes, brainwashing and blackmail to coerce new members into the group and keep them there. And also the group especially targets housewives, the poor, the house churches in China and uh, Of course, by first befriending believers and then slowly trying to convince them that Yang Xiangbing is God incarnate. A good case is uh, in 2002, Eastern Lightning members allegedly kidnapped 34 leaders of an underground Christian network, which is the China Gospel Fellowship, and held them captive for two months. And in 2014, five members of the Church of Almighty God went in on trial in Yantai Shadong for the murder of a 37 year old woman in a restaurant the woman was beaten to death for refusing to join the group and uh, in February 2015 two of the five were executed for the crime so all in all in summary the church of almighty God is a dangerous group that denies the sufficiency of scripture and supplements it with additional supposedly inspired teachings and the new teachings uh, come from a woman who seems to be a second incarnation of God and who actually calls herself almighty God they deny the trinity Jesus sacrifice is uh, denigrated and his work on the cross considered powerless to fully save while the group pays uh, lip service to the sacrifice of Christ True and final salvation is only available through adherence to the new teaching. 
and the church of almighty god is shrouded in secrecy and its members use strong arm tactics and have committed atrocious crimes in the name of their group the church of almighty god has all the hallmarks of a cult and christians will do well to heed scripture's warning you remember all the bible told us in jude 1 verse 4 the bible says for there are certain men there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation and godly men turning the grace of god into lasciviousness and denying the only lord and our uh, uh, the only lord god and our lord jesus christ and in verse 19 it says this be they who separate themselves sensual having not the spirit and of course guys we know the doom of people who deny jesus christ their doom is well written so you better stay away better stay away from people who say that hope this teaching was a blessing right this is the end of today's bible lesson i'm 100% hoping that you learned something and it was a blessing to you you can always download uh, to listen later or share these uh, productions and of course favorite our channel and uh, subscribe to always know whenever we post a new bible study lesson otherwise i hope to see you in the next one